Hey guys, Mike Bosch here. Friday the 13th, I'm working from the house today. A little scared to, to be on the roads, but didn't want to miss the opportunity to talk about finding your vision for what you want your life to be. And maybe there's a couple obstacles there. And, and one may be regret. Do you regret something from your past or a bad experience that could potentially keep you from chasing your vision? Uh, I got a good friend of mine, he owned a, a real successful barbecue restaurant and he he wanted to chase his dream of owning a bar and restaurant so he found a good deal on one and he bought it and he realized that it was really difficult to run both companies so he had to sell one and, and he chose to sell the, bar, the barbecue place and keep the bar and the restaurant and uh, gosh like a month or two later the economy began to dip and someone got arrested for DWI and they accused the bartender of serving this person while they had too much to drink and there was a sting operation and a lawsuit. It just got real, real ugly. Uh, long story short, he ended up selling the bar and restaurant for next to nothing, wiped out everything that he had worked hard for his barbecue joint. But when I saw him and began to talk about this, you know, I said, man, you must really feel bad. And he said, no. I took a shot. I rolled the dice. All the cards were stacked against me. Hey, nothing I can do about it. I can put that aside and I can move on. Now, he's working with the food service distributor that used to sell him at his restaurant. He's salesman of the year. He's cleaning up. He said, Mike, I got weekends at home. I get to go enjoy my son's sporting events. I'm living the best life ever. He could have sat home and harbored his loss, his regret. Poor me. Oh, the police. No. He jumped right back on that horse and he got running again. That's what you got to do. You can't harbor anything from the past. Don't wait for a powerful moment. Make this moment powerful. All right. Subscribe below. Have a great weekend. Peace.